Hey there guys, alright today we are back with some more History Matters and we are hitting up another short animated documentary. This time, how wild was the Wild West? Before we dive in, I'll make sure you go and check out the links in the description box below. I would love to you join the Discord and follow me over at Twitch. Also, if you don't have the time to watch me live over at Twitch, I also have a link to my gaming channel down here that's on YouTube where I upload the majority of my uh, streams. Uh, they usually come a couple weeks after after I stream, uh, but what you'll find on there are the playthroughs and stuff, so you won't see like uh, any streams where uh, I did like just chatting or uh, the occasional tier list or a uh, side game that doesn't really have, you know, that, that, that's just for... Chilling. You won't see those. You won't see the chill streams, but you'll get the uh, you'll get the playthroughs, right? We got you got Skyrim. You got Assassin's Creed over there. You got a uh, Prey. Uh, in Metro 2033 did that recently. I, well, no, that one's gonna be getting uploaded soon. It might already be uploaded by the time this goes live. I don't know. Anyway, go check it out. <clears throat> go check it out. I'd love for that to hit a thousand subscribers. Currently only like at a hundred. Got a bit to go on that channel. But uh yeah. So anyways, with that said, how wild was the Wild West? I don't know. There we go, video done. Uh, it was great seeing you guys. I'll see you in the next video. When people think of the American Wild West, several ideas often spring to mind. Saloons, conflict between cowboys and Native Americans, a general sense of lawlessness and people being tied up to railroads for some inexplicable reason. Yeah. The prevailing idea <laughs> is that the Wild West was, well, wild. But how true is this view? Just how wild was the Wild West? Just to clear up some dates, when most people are talking about the Wild West, they're mostly referencing the period between 1848 when the US gained these lands up until the early 20th century. So we'll go through these common images of the Wild West. Crazy saloons, cowboys versus Indians, lawlessness, and railroad murders. Just one at a time. First of all, saloons were very common since everybody liked to drink. But a couple of <laughs> misconceptions exist. One, most saloons had regular doors because the Old West was dusty and also because you want to lock the door sometimes. Yeah. Yes, they did serve booze, it was expensive, yes, there was gambling, it caused problems, and yes, there were prostitutes, but they weren't exactly ever present. So just how wild were these saloons? They weren't. Most of them were essentially workers' clubs and it was more likely you'd hear about Marx than see a mass brawl. But what about cowboys then? Do they match up to the common image that we have of them? Nope. Cowboys mm. were ranchers and worked to keep cattle safe from predators and the occasional thief. Now, cowboys all over the American West did develop a culture of suspicion of outsiders and of loutish violence, which led to many people who stayed in small frontier towns being accosted by local ranch workers. Sometimes they would be robbed, sometimes they would be assaulted, and sometimes the locals acted up to play up to the stereotype. What stereotype? Well, along the East Coast, many people were fascinated with the rugged culture that had been developing, and so many journalists travelled to the frontier to provide stories which they promptly... East Coast Times, Cowboys Kill 40,000 and Raid. Trains, the silent killer. But I like China, says Hayes. Uh, March 4th, 1890. Exaggerated. And something not often spoken about is the fact that cowboys had bosses, and those bosses weren't too keen on the whole violence thing. Hence why when cowboys were caught misbehaving, they were fired. As for the cowboys and Indians trope, Native Americans were treated horrendously by those moving west. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way to put it. They were. Westward. However, most of the violence towards them wasn't between natives and roaming gangs of cowboys and bandits, it was between them and the central government who could and did exert considerable force in the West. Yeah. Which brings us onto law and order. There's a common idea of constant duels, robberies and a general sense of lawlessness which was caused by there only being one sheriff every 100 square miles. Often, sheriffs would be aided by several others in their duties and also being a sheriff was quite boring. When, say, looking at California during the gold rush, most crime was alcohol related and there was very little in the way of serious violence, although criminal gangs did exist, especially in the South. However, the central government was able to exert pretty considerable control over the area, despite the sheer empty distances. If crime got too bad, the central government or the state government could quickly clamp down on it because governors and politicians don't like to look bad and want to be re-elected. Another thing that you see, actually, as the United States expands westward, uh, when you look at land owned by the government versus land privately owned, you really start to see as you get further west, more 
and more federal land. Freaking, because, you know, the government realized as it was expanding, it was like, we don't own actually much of our land. We need to start getting more of it. <laughs> and as for the whole tying people to railroads thing, it originated as a trope of fiction in what were called dime novels, which were incredibly oh. popular. And yes, this did actually happen to people, but one, oh. it happened all over the US, not just in the West, oh. and two, it happened about five times over a 50-year period. Oh. And so, to answer the question, how wild was the Wild West, the answer is, well, a little. Just as wild as the American East, or say, rural Italy was at the time. The fact is, for most Americans living on the frontier, life was very similar to that back in the East. For every cowboy, there was a miner or a furniture maker, and a small mining town was often, all things considered, pretty boring. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And that was the answer to How Wild Was the Wild West, a short animated documentary. Now this one, this is another one of those episodes where uh, they didn't get quite into, it didn't feel like they got as into depth uh, as they usually do, at least for me. Um, it was still good. Video, it's the kind of quality that I expect from History Matters. Good, solid quality. Um, but, uh, like, the baseline that I expect from them. Uh, but nothing spectacular like some of their videos have been. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.